warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. It might get a little messy for some of us this evening, but that mess is not going to continue through the night tonight. However, we do have some snow mixing in with a little bit of sleet and even some rain down to the south as a low pressure system and cold front continue to work across northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. Any accumulation with this is expected to be light, but with those heavier bursts of snow these next couple of hours, that visibility is going to drop. In fact, we've got snow coming down from Monroe to Freeport, right down 26. You get a little bit further to the south here. Once you get south and southeast of Polo, you start to see here a few rain showers working in. That's because temperatures east of here are above freezing. So there might be a little period where we get some light rain, but that quick transition over to snow is going to take place. Now, the snow is coming down in Freeport. Visibility at the Albertus Airport still sits at 10. Three mile visibility in Monroe. You notice, though, those numbers falling back underneath some of those heavier bursts of snow. Accumulations, as I mentioned, will be mostly confined to any grassy surfaces and will be under an inch because this is going to quickly move out. Now, I wanted to show you this. You can see a little bit. This is actually our SkyTrack camera here in Freeport at the Park Hills Golf Course. I know it looks really dark. We've got the flag. We're looking off to the north here, but you can actually see some of that snow coming down and a little bit of it sticking on the camera lens. So again, the biggest impact we're going to have from that is the reduced visibility the next hour or two. 34 in Freeport, 28 in Galena, 32 in Monroe. We sit at 40 here in Rockford. Once that cold front comes through, our temperatures are going to drop. 21 degrees tonight. Those wind chills tomorrow will be in the teens because that wind is going to pick up behind that cold front, gusting in at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. A brisk day tomorrow after temperatures made it up to 46 today, only 28 for tomorrow afternoon. So a cold start for our Monday, but we'll see plenty of sunshine. Now, once we get past Monday, there's a couple more systems we're keeping an eye on, Tuesday into Wednesday and then Thursday into Friday. So let's kind of time this out here. Any snow we get through this evening is going to be out of here by about 9, 10 o'clock this evening. After that, we keep the cloud cover. We'll see sunshine tomorrow as high pressure builds in. It's a cold area of high pressure, and that's why we see our temperatures drop. We're dry for the first part of Tuesday. Cloud cover increases by Tuesday evening, but once we get into Tuesday late evening and night, that's when we see our next system come in. Two low pressure systems kind of working together. Area of low pressure are Tuesday night, Wednesday storm system coming in from the north. Next one coming in Thursday night into Friday. So let's look at that Tuesday night storm system. Initially, this is going to start off with the snow. Could see a period of some sleet and freezing rain then as we head into Wednesday early morning before that transition over to rain showers Wednesday afternoon. And then we get that snow coming in on the back side of that for Wednesday night. We dry out Thursday. Could repeat that again with another period of some freezing rain and a very early Friday as our temperatures hover close to the freezing mark.